everyone welcome to my channel it's a girl jessica today i'll be doing an i tried following video and youtuber i'll be following is Layla from fusion of cultures Layla is one of my favorite youtubers and she's the only one who has been able to inspire me to style my natural hair normally when i lose my hair to style it i'm like so in what direction should i go to but thank god for her i don't know how she did it but she was able to sit down and come up with different hairstyles that no matter how simple they are even if it's just um two patterns or whatever you come out looking as beautiful as ever and kudos to her for it so as not to make this video long i will go right into the tutorial all right guys let's begin i will put the video somewhere on the screen so you guys can see what i'm seeing Hey guys, it's Layla, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you this juicy twist bundu. Yes, you heard me, bundu, because um, girls are strong, just yeah. in case you forgot. <laughs> so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. And so wait, 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 I'm supposed to be doing this, wait. Okay, so I'm starting off with a two days old hair, not freshly washed. I'm going to be using the Curl Essence line by Care and Care and the line features Hold on, hold on, hold on So for me, I'll be using my African Pride Moisture Miracle line because um, the creams that she used here um, that's the only products I have that came with those creams I hope you guess what I mean You will soon see Things like castor oil and coconut oil develop to help moisturize and give you manageability, increase shine and decrease spread. So I'm going to start off using the moisturizing. Wait. So, um, she's starting off with her curl activator. When I washed my hair, I already used a curl activator and the curl activator I used, hold on, is from Cream of Nature. So that's it. This is a curl activator I use. Um, but I would. My hair is feeling a little bit like it needs some products. So um, I would re moisturize my hair with water, then apply little leave in conditioner. I don't want my hair to be um, soaking wet, so I just made it a little bit damp. Alright guys, let's continue. Curl activator and it's really creamy and rich but not too rich where it wasn't able to be absorbed by my low porosity hair. So I really like that about it. It was really moisturizing and it left my hair soft and shiny. So let's jump right in. To achieve this style, you're going to need to put your hair in five sections, three at the front, one at the back, and a big central section. Take in the middle section, you want to create... Wait, wait, I don't know how you use it. Um, let me go back by 10 seconds. So, she said she did three at the front. I'm sure there was one here and two by the side. So, let me take this down okay um, let me just make sure I saw right okay um, let's start with the one at the front so I have my rat tail comb here okay I had a feeling I, meant, I was meant to detangle my hair first but I didn't listen this doesn't sink deep enough. I feel has went kind of way deep. All right, one down, four more to go. <sighs> I'm already tired. Okay, we can do this. Um, the rest we are here, right? Um, let me confirm. Sorry. So it was kind of like a box to the side. Not really a box, but it's not as curved as this one here. So it went all the way. Oh shit, I need to loosen the back. Okay, I think I'll just clip this one away and 
get my section for the bar, then proceed from there. Oh, I'm back. I think I just want some calories. Okay, let's continue. Scallop like parts, and then we're gonna go ahead and twist these sections using the moisturizing towel cream. I found the cream to be the perfect consistency. As you can see, it had a bit of pack to it, and it also smelled amazing either way. So I'm just applying that to the section, and as a personal preference, I will be three strand twisting of my hair. But if that's not your thing, you can just go ahead and do a two strand twist. As you can see, the shine that the product gave me was mm, amazing. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed it because I love juicy twists and there's nothing better than juicy shiny twists. So, yeah, as you guys can see. And then you just want to go ahead and repeat that scallop like parting throughout that whole central section and twist it up. Okay, I feel like this front section is not deep enough. I'll just extend this and then begin my scarlet like pattern. That was what she said. Alright guys, I'm done and I'm back and this is what I have going on right now. Hopefully it's as beautiful as hers. Okay, um, let's continue with our video. Guys, this is why I absolutely love three strands. I feel like they just give my hair the juiciest appearance all of the time without fail. And then I'm going to go in and work on that back section. So all we're doing here is we just want to brush it uh, or brush it and smooth it down. Once again, I use the moisturizing pearl cream. And then we're just going to secure that with a little head tie. And then you want to twist that section up the back. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the two side sections. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm going to clip this ones away. So for the back, she still applies the curl cream. Although I'm tempted to ask, why am I using a curl cream? I thought they were meant for twist outs, and I'm not doing a twist out. I guess it's also a form of leave-in cream. I don't know. Let's just continue. I think I took a little bit too much. So she brushed off the section. I don't have her kind of brush and um, what do I do I think with this suffice let me see I think I'll just use my um, rat tail comb let me get my ribbon all right guys so I'm done with the back Oh, I don't think I held it as tight, um, as firmly as I should have. Let's just leave it that way. So she said she repeated the same thing for the both sides, but added um, a, an edge control. So we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so the edge control I'll be using is the Olive Oil ORS edge control which as you can see it's almost empty if it's not empty actually has a good amount not really a good amount but an okay amount of um, edge control still remaining but it's too too transparent for you to see is my brush I think she just applied it casually let me check there was no pattern to it Hopefully. Applying the towel cream, brushing it in, but then of course there's the edges. So I'm going in with the moisturizing and um, healthy edges edge control. So 
so what she did was she applied the edge control after brushing let me try use my tangle teaser to brush it in first after brushing her section she um, applies the edge control and flat twisted so we're gonna do that Then we flat twist. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so if you're finding this video helpful. And of course, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Okay, hold on. Okay, let us do our own juicy twist. Okay, um, curling cream. I think she applied hers as she cut out after she cut out her sections. Let's proceed. I think she went in, right? Oh God, I'm really tired. Okay, she did not. Oh. Okay, one more to go, and you're not done yet. You guys don't know how happy I am that we are almost done. My hands are And there we are, juicy twist. Guys, I don't think you understand how much I love a juicy twist. <laughs> so we're going to take the two side sections that we've just twisted up and then we're going to secure that with a little tie, with a rubber tie. And then we're going to twist that with the back section and turn it into a bun. So this one is going to be the base for our hairstyle. So at this stage, all we're going to do is take different twists and alternate between them, wrapping it around our base bun. Okay, I think I get the gist now. Taking my little pink ribbon, I'll put on. And get two, I feel like my sections are small. Here we get two of these. And uh, okay. tie it up first. Okay, then twist it up with this one. to a bun okay then we're going to take individual ones and tie it around this one okay i got you okay is my hair going to be long enough for this better i think we're done oh wow we yeah. are so she got a bobby pin with which she pinned I don't know what exactly, but I know she, I think she pinned the mount just to secure it a little, as you wish. All right, so let's see. So we're gonna secure the front twist, and basically we're gonna do exactly the same thing, except we're just gonna pin it down. If you have like a shorter section like me, Wait, where I cut my Why didn't you guys tell me? She also wrapped these two sections here around the bone. I'm beginning to look cute. <laughs> All right. I don't think I did. I paint this well. Must you pin it? 
helps you. Let me just pin it to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Okay, so she got a pin. She said she just took this back and then she got a pin to pin it down because her sections were short. So are mine. So um she pinned it down somewhere around here. Okay, that's firm enough. I think too firm. Then she wrapped it around. I think it's for this one. I would need this pin. Oh! Okay, let me not reject it. Okay, here is my scarf, which was the next thing she did, I guess. So I'm going to wrap it around my head and keep it for a second. She didn't stay um, how long she did kept hers, but um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I don't know the reason for doing. It. I think okay to lay down my edges, but I don't really care about the edges, so I am going to take it off right now. Tada! Do you know me? Hello? Are you talking to me? Who are you? Do you know how much time it took me to make this hair? You're speaking to me anyhow? Hmm? Man, I'm ready to go out. Do you know the irony of all this is that this is currently 5.30 in the morning and your sister is here doing her style. But after this, I'll go and lie down on my bed and sleep. Can you imagine? See this life. See this life. But still, I am glad I did this. Are you? Wait. Can you guys see the way I look? Like, with less makeup, I'm not even dressed to go out and I'm looking on point already. Hmm. But look here, I look like a deeper life sister without my earrings and without any earrings and this hairstyle. But I look like a cute deeper life sister. Just give me a minute, let me feel myself. It's been long since I looked this good. Okay, so give me a minute. Okay, so I'm done admiring myself. It's time for our closing remark. Um, as you guys can tell, I enjoyed um, doing this tutorial. You can see the results, but we have this kind of results and not enjoy themselves. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video because I enjoyed myself. Hope you didn't see this as a waste of time. Why I said to share this video with you guys is because um, I don't know if others, but for me, 85% of the time whenever I try to follow a YouTube tutorial um, By the time you look at the tutorial I followed and you look at me you will be like are you sure this was what you followed because I'll be looking way way different in the negative like I don't know if that's happened to any of you, but for me, it happens to me most of the time. Um, that's why I said to do this. I tried following video like I was saying before. Hope you enjoyed the video And uh, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed oh my god i did not welcome my um first time comers oh pardon me a very big welcome to those people who have visited my channel for the first time thank you guys so much for clicking on my channel out of all the channels youtube must have listed out for you or if you came here with the very link um thank you so much for clicking on that link and not scrolling to the next picture on the person's status thank you so much i love you please do one special thing for me and that is to subscribe click on the subscribe button that is below and hit the notification bell that is close to it so you get the bell whenever i post this um wonderful videos i love you guys uh that's all guys thank you for staying to the end i love you all once again bye